charges in. And then Pango, he's like the one to offset it. And he's gonna get robbed. How can they do that when they do? As he... They're gonna go first and won't get do... doomed. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna be a close game. I've noticed it was a round. Like maybe they flipped a couple coins on one pick, so I don't really know. Uh, the LGD has managed to confuse the entire panel right now, so you don't know what absolutely what the hell is going on. But we're going to be finding out in number two. Beep, beep. To find out, we send it over to no, our And it's amazing! And it's it's amazing. It's amazing. We're ready for that wake a moment up right now, T. Please don't laugh at me. Do not laugh at me, Harry. I am full HP. There's going to be multiple hits. It will be illegal. Please don't laugh at me. It will be the last. No, I'm just kidding. So we do have a great a great game coming up right now. Holy moly. Primal Beast. I feel like nothing to say is going to pop off. No, Shifo, she was doing the bang, 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 bang plays. I think that was for Rubik, but uh, I think nothing to say is going to be wrecked in face. Give, says Seal. I hmm. think he wants tips. Ah, yes, he wants 70 to tip him. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, tip for some uh, only one way. Very unfortunate. But no, drop wise, I actually really like what PSG's got. Seconds. I think uh, it's all about the lanes. So, like with these heroes, a primal beast against Pangler, primal should do well. Some Dazzle Wraith King lane against some Ooh. Doom. So, going to do well. And uh, yeah, that could be the key theme for PhD with the quirkiness of their heroes. They've got some strange stuff coming out. Uh, and I think, you know, th there's an element to last game, right? I just think about how strong IBB looked when they went in and they invaded the Ancients and they're like, we're not going to back down. We're going to run it. Numbers. We're going to battle. And then LG was like, oh, you guys want to do that? Okay, we can do that. And that's what they're doing this game. Um, holy moly, you've got like the, the you know, I was talking about Wraith King, Primal, Bloodseeker, they're, they're ready to battle. And in the bot lane, we've got some weird shenanigans. Range Creep and Eat Amelie. Oh, Ooh. they are. Yep, okay. Bot lane has just been absolutely disintegrated uh, by some heroes. Hey, he's like, all right. The lane's gonna go bad, so we're not gonna lane. There's so many new things going on in this. Cool. Yeah, once again, we uh, we don't get to see Dazzle. Especially against this Doom. Doom nowadays, it's again, Meteor Hammer into Midas. Yeah. So if you throw in a really potent, kind of aggressive you chase you back down the lane style combo, then maybe Doom won't even get to Meteor Hammer at a good timing. Maybe they'll all be like kill for it. And then you're seeing this kind of. New, uh, new combination coming out. Um, again, also, the Wraith King is a pretty good game. TA is playing into Wraith King later into the game. She can never just jump first him. Doom really hates going with him. Shrop to hates using spells. So I think there is a, a large damage to why would be fine. If lanes don't go well, and it's only TA You know, you talk about uh, that Wraith King and how good of a game it is for him. This was the first two pick, you know? He has sort of gotten away Scott from the draft, which is uh, pretty interesting considering how I, I just thought that was going to go. Uh, it does seem like that Ring of Health is just about completed right now for the Doom, though. Uh, has his career going on out to that up. So his landing stage should at least be okay. And maybe there's that, that's the way that they do it. Like, you can start snowballing this lane, uh, getting the your hammer stuff going on. Oh, you know just not gonna go well, there we go now oh, it's set yeah but his death did secure his current thing to the doom okay he secured the ring of health to the doom but getting wow. snapped by a dazzle wow. biggest load of whatever i could have produced that, that is a horrendous stop why be in this off lane in regards to the support right. Oh, it's so well. It was. But you know what that means? What does it mean? Stolen. Oh, 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 big D, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the lane is pushing, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna be chilling. I will be surprised if he actually uses a Meteor Hammer power. Again, any of these carries that provide a really low cooldown stunt that yeah. can mirror this... Meteor Hammer. Very good against Doom. That's sort of loot. The previous... I think RG was the one that did it. And again, here, we have Wraith King. All he needs is like what two points in his uh fire block have mirroring cooldowns. Yeah. I mean there Actually, is even just one point. There's gonna be the, the possibility of like doing it from off to the side and like hiding off in the tree and dropping it down. I'll also say as heavy there from nothing to say. Oh man. Careful buddy. Bloodseeker's also moving very fast. 
every hit that's traded. He's got 10 seconds, but the boss is all right. So he'll be okay. Um, the thing I love about Meteor Hammer is we get to see all these weird channel. I think Doom is one of the weirdest. So there's like a there's double game fill up. He starts waving around. Well, I went into the Nero system just to look at all the different channel animations. Yeah. And I, I was going to see who has like the best channel animation, but I realized it was a bit of a time sink. I was just spending way too long doing it. I just kept staring at Invoker. And uh, yeah, I, I stopped doing it. But it was uh, a late night activity that I have to stop doing. If you want, I can continue to do it. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Zap! Beyond, he's going to turn to be back. Uh, just the tier one tower, so he gets out of harm's way and two points the meteor hammer done. I mean, when you think about the lore of this item, I feel like it should be more threat. You pop a meteor from the sky. It's terrifying. I mean, it's terrifying towards towers. It's really pathetic when they're actually channeling it. Yeah, just sidestep it. Yeah, just walk off. And uh, yeah, I'm, we haven't really mentioned the off lane yet, but I feel like this Bloodseeker pick. When you're going TA into Bloodseeker, I think it's a high armor hero. Like, mm. you don't want to leave TA in a 1v1 matchup. Normally, you have an additional support. You utilize them out of that chase. And I just feel like Zill is just going to become another carry. He's 18 for 10 to the 17 and 2 for TA. Oh, all lanes of PSG. And this is what I kind of anticipated with this type of lineup. Oh, no. They are just going to be tanky heroes that win their lanes, and they're so sustainable. And once again, YBB damage will be a key thing they'll have to find as quick as possible. No, see, that's some really good analysis right uh, there, but I want to go back to talking about meteor hampers again. Yeah, no worries. Um, yep. <laughs> Am I going to have to start Googling the ball to say a few hours? What I was going to say is that it reminds me of, do you remember oh, in God. Lord no, of the Rings, no, no, Return no, of the no, King, okay. when yep. the weird-faced orc, it's a trebuchet giant piece of rock <laughs> thrown at him, and then he just sidesteps it slightly. That's what I imagine. Like, 70 dropping <laughs> in the I mid lane, almost goes down, but able to get away. Oh, yeah, it's exactly that, actually. You, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? What are you talking about? It, it's taking fire. Be pathetic. And yeah. Planet. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Go ahead. Yeah, hit the arrow. Hit the arrow. He's not ready. He's not he's ready. Oh, right. planet. Look at him. He's like, yeah. Oh, you see, he looked at the camera. He's like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's clean. <laughs> he knows. No vision. Like, he puts yeah, he the, the, the blood here thirst. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No natural vision. No natural vision. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was just making sure you're listening, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you're that. You're too busy talking about Orcs and Lord of the Rings. I had to bring you back down to, to this game, you know? Exactly. Oh, well, no. we're here now, and it is looking oh, oh, for the Fango. Uh, he did get the TP though, at least. 1500, the 2600 of Primal Beast. And uh, this stop, sure, but mid laners love to rotate, but when you have such a side lead on, on the Primal Beast, his ability to quickly get to a side lane, kill, and then turn to mid. It's Radius a lot structures. To the layers, so. Already looking to see how nothing to say once to utilize this early lead to kind of even just overwhelm the side lane even more. Dead. Dyer, wow. And he's scratching his head afterwards, like, guys, ah, this guy is really strong. Yeah, oh, he's, man. he's out leveling the end. Also, I thought, again, no, it's a very dishonest mid lane. Planet has somewhat <laughs> AFK to mid for a little bit. It's been a bit of a 2v1. That's fair. So, oh, it's unfortunate. No. All right, here's the big thing. Beaton's got the media app. No. Will he be able to actually get it on the tower? Or even use it successfully? Shiro, from Brave Blast. Very much ready to, to stop this channeling. They have a lot of different avenues to stop the meteor hammer. Arrow, uh, which obviously won't be there, but then the Wraith Fire Blast being the there. And then it makes it up against ZZQ. We'll do stacking while simultaneously forcing back the Marana. She does manage to get on and Gold block one of the tires. Middle tower but taking fire. There is a lot of gold built up here. Planet jumps away. A glimpse available so you can start looking around him beyond. I feel so bad for him. Oh. He's got the ham. He walked around bot lane. But the meteor hammer. Come on, hi. Does he go for it? Oh, yeah. oh nothing to say. Might just kill him all. They're going for him. Bang, bang, bang. He can't meteor hammer yet. Oh, there it is. 
Okay, they get that. Bang, 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 aggro the neutrals, to then bang, bang, bang. Uh, YB, oh, not YB, Young Ming, sorry. And, uh, yeah, it was like, oh, yeah, man. Fire displaced his doom it. He just walked around for, like, two minutes. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's the York play, yep. Yeah. That's the York play. What was the name of that? How to work? Okay, well, I'm sure I love that. Oh, that really yes, the no, one. I got you. Uh, all <laughs> of the things that dodges. Big rock. <laughs> Seven, uh, he gets the bottle refill in there. Dog Mog? Dog Mog. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goth Mog. He does look like a Doom that gets slapped in the face. No blood for it's true. You. He's got that weird eye. Yeah. Well, right now, LGD weirdly been eyeing up the, like me uh, before makeup. Oh, I think wow. about it. Gothmog got him caught there and bang bang banging him into death. <laughs> like the Rohirrim found him on the fields of Talonor. Uh, there's like Dyer's seven people right now that actually, to be fair, attack. a lot of those viewers would actually. Yeah, about 7,000 viewers actually right now are vibing with this. Lord of the Polymoth. As TA, can he get caught silence? It's like that. Shut off the power of the zeal off plane bloodseeker. Well, he will get found here by 70. Can 70 finish off the kill though? Try to get it. Swashbuckle saved. He's not going to win. He's too afraid. Nothing to say is nearby. I mean, he has 10 armor. Like, it was incredibly tanky. Double race pan stick plus treads. So it's hard to kill him. Yeah, ESG. All about the lanes with these heroes, crushing the lanes, why be? Doom doesn't have a game. The question for what we be now is how can they find ways to get TA to farm the stack, to farm the ancients, and then present an opportunity where she can maybe you know, poke her head in, get a kill, then look for the Rosham. It's a lot of things that need to go right for them, but PSG, they're dictating everything. Nothing to say from bot to top, killing off mid, he's just everywhere right now on this map. Completely taken over the game. And ZZQ shows for a minute there, probably looking for a bigger target to go for the pulverize on. Um, but also just Tango passed over to him and is going to be passing by a ward. So now realizing a little bit more freedom and you can 70 immediately tries to back away, but is he going to be able to escape? Nothing to say. Could have gone for that. Lots of your ward now, but in it mid lane because they saw or the primary piece left. They set up for him instead. Regen has to get into range. I don't think they can do anything. And with 70 moving in, now maybe they can play the glimpse to pull him back. Now the roll back and forth. Nothing to say. The supports weren't a danger, but he bring it. It does seem to be a problem until the grave comes out. And there's the jump. That's the kill. He beat it. Pretty good right here. Yeah, this is really important. You know, nothing to say. He gets a little bit comfortable going for that room. You know, meanwhile, beyond, he's able to cheat two media hammers on this spot. So after you know, starting the off lane, he himself is Radiant relatively Courier getting back into the game. Brutally yeah, murdered. He's top top worth on his team. Yeah. Might not be a great thing for uh, but Tia is eventually going to go and try and clear up and farm up the rest of the uh, jump. Yeah, I like you be under attack. You need to kill off Zill at least once. It's like kill Zill, force reactions top, allow Doom to take bot tower, and that might set your map up quite nicely. Yeah, they are looking to do that. Caught here, makes the movement over. They rush the yeah. Tia. Now nothing to say. They oh, yeah. oh, yeah. on that. So much blood. Did not go the way they hoped it would. I mean, if nothing to say is there, it becomes very difficult to take a fight. I'm not even going to say near impossible. impossible. Uh, I feel like if, if you finish the fight, 70 has to be in the fight. And unfortunately, you know, in hindsight, they didn't have rolling fun. So this move from where he was maybe a little bit too quick. Fires, the idea of the is great. Taking fire. Make sure when you're behind, you have all the resources available to make sure that you are kind of throwing your bodies into a lost cause. And that's quite a, a good last couple of minutes. It is feeling not like a complete lost cause, but definitely kind of rough right now uh, for the side of 
by B, but yet just in that top floor and so much pressure from towards mid. Radiant it's starting to collapse. Under but Daria, like, Wraith is even farming out the enemy ancients right here. And almost has a complete radiance. Yeah, he's just putting a radiance over that and farm. Well, if he wants to try and farm, she can't go to her ancients. Seven is awkwardly trying to shove out the Wraith King. So it isn't as a fluid of a game that you expect. Like, what would be lineup is very, very greedy, right? Doom wants to AFK, TA wants to AFK. There isn't a lot of damage on the support, so... Pulls him back, static storm, but they bring in 70. This is what they need to do. They need to kill off. Nothing to say before that BKB comes out. Grave is there. Does he have a way to escape the onslaught? He gets the stick charge off to stay alive. Shiro shows up. Arrow, but he will get a little bit of separation. Now, how does he use DQ? Get the yeah, but a good chunk of it there and will be able to take down this mid tier one tower. Dyer's middle tower. Rough fallen. series of events there for YBB not able to Dyer's middle tower. It's so hard. Fire. Like, from game one, YBB, where it's like all the heroes want to sink and make a play, to game two, where it's like three heroes trying to desperately do as much as they can. You know, the odds in game one were like 1.88 at this point or something. Now it's like. Even. Now it's very drastically that PSG favored. What's that? That IO not favoring the. IBB lineup at the moment as they continue to dominate this map here and maybe trying to set up onto beyond. It's a little bit scary. It's middle tower. Planet can do it on his own. Probably just trying to scout this area and get his own. Doing a more farm. I'm going to do. Double Okay, who's going for it? Okay. Not going for auras again. You already have a dazzle in your lineup, so you have the shadow wave. It's not auras, but it's sustain. Marana. Again, we've already mentioned it, the mech. The survivability comes from the, the heroes themselves are extremely tanky, and they'll be pushed forward through the maybe defensive nature of Moonlight Shadow or the turnaround of Brave. Uh, yeah, a rare game. I, I argue that you don't really need too many auras. Nice and positioning, though, from not getting caught by the glimpse of the ward. Yeah, I mean, that that's just really good, though, to recognize, and, hey, nobody's showing over the ancients where the rest of the team that nobody joined them at all beyond is going to do the same type of thing right now it looks like and try and get our arms away so both squads able to dodge ganks that they thought were coming their direction and now ibb is kind of grouped together they could make a smoke play themselves see if they could pick off shiro before he gets one of those survivability items after the radiance they just wish that lou had maybe desolated by it now if this was like Death OTA. Yeah. This play feels a little bit better because it's like we look for a kill, boom, Roshan. But go in that awkward state where they don't have the KB on Doom, they don't have the Desolator on TA. Even though they might want to look for the engagement, I'd argue that they need to just farm these items to like that timing, then kind of PSG. It's going to be difficult. Like one team, they're waiting on the flip side. Nothing to say. When he picks up the KB, I think there's anything YB can do to this hero. Other than doing him after the chicken it's gonna be very hard to see if you just swarm and grab the, the YBB lens. Well, again, gates back to sort of the cheap and we were talking about that the first person to find that initiation is probably gonna end up on the better end of the fight. Um, that's sort of what they excel at on uh, the side of the beast uh, as a hero. Is, setting up for a good fight between the division first as well. They tried to go down bottom, couldn't connect there with the onslaught going through it, which is about to expire right now. Just about completing uh, that Deso, but ZZQ caught in a weird spot. It doesn't compare to the Radiance damage, the salve up to try and keep the third. Go, 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 go. The connects in time, and they will find ZZQ very low. <laughs> They don't have a rupture form this time. Okay, bouncing back and forth. Do they have heal though? They Just have a couple of big clicks. Planet might be able to kill him himself. Stephanie has to back away. Gladly hit something. Still, you can already feel the sense of the game kind of slipping away from YB. Yeah, the way that they're just kind of throwing heroes out just to buy time. And where are we at on the BKB situation? All right, okay, 400 gold away. It's uh, still very farmed. 
Still pretty good. Again, loot. Deso's easily been <laughs> eight since then. Another 800 gold's been generated. The, that, that could be a nice moment for YBB, right? It's like I already mentioned Deso BKB. If they want to be really safe, they're like, okay, let's wait for the BKB on TA. That'll then mitigate the Radiance and the Primal Beast from being too much of a factor. It's a lot of waiting. A lot of like, okay, the next item, then the next item. Shut it does concern that YBB will always be chasing. What's the next item that will give us a little bit of confidence? So far, it's been 17 minutes where they've pretty much just ran it. I mean, I will stop. Oh, look at this. This is pretty good. That's good. Yeah, it does. find any type of a pickoff, particularly on this Bloodseeker. Very, very subtle stuff. In the My sorcery is on and it's amazing! He's it back after uh, his life. It's a little bit of retribution. I guess the one that does sort of stick out to me is I think IBB. Uh, it's not like it's completely hopeless. No. The late king can still be. Uh, but there are a lot of answers that they have. Prime always feels a little bit weak to me. In the late game, what we need and Doom is having some incredible game. You know, just do yeah. And now the team fight PG is two damage style heroes called Bunch of the Rift game. Set of five to the force of the real It's a lot I think I be can drive much later. But it's then also sharp trap. There's a lot of economy that I need. And for PS2. There's been a weapon, but you want to just break the game. Like, break. And it does something to the Radiant Top Tower. Like, one zero for it. He's mad chilling. And I mean, like, the other thing, too, is you're going late game against LG. Decision, I feel like, has always been so clutch in those late game scenarios. Yeah. And I also don't really enjoy the idea of TA late game in this game. I think the same also doesn't really enjoy Rubik in this game. No. Because he's just giving him non stop. Rough time there. And I mean, that Moonlight Shadow into the kill, it feels rough. They do also have this ward. They've had it for a little while. Gonna smoke up with four. And with Rupture not used uh, on Rupture this time, it makes the Pangos game significantly harder. Hans, no Doom for 40. I want to use his first BKB just defensively. Can't run that fast. After the kinetic field goes down, they will manage to take down this disruptor. And a meteor hammer from beyond onto the creep way they're trying to kill it off. I just one of those. Dyer's top to the BKBs coming up the blink, and he actually almost has it. I'd be interested to see if Breaking or Shiro wants to go for Blink 3 BKB. There's a window in this game where he can have BKB, and if he's a bit more explosive. Make that jump, layer with the Atos. You can actually, you know, cause some concern for Loop. The fact that it is so close, it's like this a, a marginal window in the game that he could have played for. Um, right. I don't think he's farmed quick enough to put that threat onto TA. Nor has TA really been shut down in the last eight minutes or so. She's just been happily farming up. Zero one zero on Lou. Had an idea that he was over here. Seven eight, getting found. Ito tries to get away. The arrow's not going to connect, but I don't think he has a way out of this one. Seven eight. Even worse news for him to were not able to get a brigands bull on that second round, but they do get it oh on LGD. No. This uh oh, that's be. unfortunate for him. Very unfortunate. I mean, Pangolins, they often get it, but you know, he's got people's gifts. <laughs> not comparable. <laughs> not comparable, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was I trying know. to be nice for a second, but no, it, it's pretty depressing when you don't get the brigands. Well, less than a thousand gold separating these two teams. Room still very much farmed. It's just Pango's kind of been left behind. You can imagine a world where he gets Lincolns or something. The game starts to feel a little bit easier for him, but he is just far behind uh, where he could walk. Well, they could have been going down here on the day. The the BKB, that's the reveal. Which is not terrible. The BK is he's trying to run away and going in, but the prize is mine. This is really good for BB. As soon as you know that BKB has been used, 
You've got Link you available on Zoom. You've got TA with her own TV. I feel like they should be rooting for him right now. It's a massive timing for them. In terms of Shiro, he hasn't completed his item yet. He didn't go for Blink. Still trying to complete his own BKB. So yeah, I love about that YBB. Not the game. The damn egg goes network the same. If they get even one good pick off here, no buyback, their, their team will take Roshan quickly. Of course, finding the right hero is a little bit of a problem. If they take this fight and drop and kill off Shiro and it takes too long, his resummon is turn into their undoing. But doesn't look like they're going for that. Instead, into its mid planet is going to show for a second on the other side of the river. A lot of other heroes getting into position right now. They don't have Trapango with them. 70 is not there. Uh, I thought this was going to be a move from YBB, but kind of difficult Regeneration. to make anything happen. 20 seconds till Primal Beast BKB. They didn't connect on the kill quickly enough. Yeah, I think uh, YBB, they did smoke rounds to the top side of the map. They looked like engaged. Radiant PSG, they panic the story of them being like, guys, they're running at us. Let's retreat back to our own side of the map. Yeah. Respect the fact that we have just used our BKB defensively. To both teams kind of you know, dancing around the map right now, trying to find that little edge to get themselves into the game. After how well the lanes were for PSG, the stabilizing phase that YB have made is incredibly commendable. They have put themselves in a position where they honestly can go toe for toe with the fight. They just need to make sure that their execution is clean. Because if they ever wasted Doom, if TA ever blinked in poorly, they're just going to get ripped apart how many forms of damage a PSG has. It's like three forms against one big damage deal. Yeah, which is why we're seeing this TA go less Dire for the blink. Structures before the right, and he's a little his Radiant in a fight, yeah, trying to get this link in spirit. Rock She's pushing in at the bottom side. Fortified. They can TP Dire to the tier 2 tower if they want. Shiro there. Coming in. Do they find a forward control is there? They get it off. They move on to the Wraith King. I don't know if that's going to be good enough. It was not going to say turning to try and take his fight. He is going to fall. Doom dropping down low, but they find the... It's now on to Zeal, trying to chase him. Rounds of the swashbuck. Oh, didn't die on the Wraith King. No, nice crate. So the hills also life stealing up there. They go in again. LTD, they don't have their... Primal Oh my god, that's easy. Can just not keep the shot here? Oh, tries to keep them alive. Actually, pulled them to the other side. Right, but it's beyond. Trying to find that position, but it is great. I expect that disrupt. Want to keep them over here? Do they need to break? And now everybody is getting away with the wrong, wrong names. Fire blast. They find the subtle two. So with my smile turning, it's gonna be Zeal going down. He dead, Roach is open. That's just incredibly good from SG. Like, especially that they're playing in an area where YBB has immense vision. And you see it really. The chase down killed Shopter. The quick ward placed again from the car into Rubik. And again, they get picked off. For a second, they were walking into Roach, and I was very confused. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what stopped on uh, YBB. There's a rush on here, but this is kind of what you've been waiting for. Oh no. Massive arrow. Oh no. Dude, are they buying enough time? Uh, not really, kind of. I mean, Primal Beast is nearby. The they Meteor Hammer. They've got BKBs back up again soon. Dude, they didn't go quick enough. And now Rapid and Zay jumps in, wants to find one. ZZQ is going to be the one that he catches. But doesn't really have the damage for him. Now Rape King getting kited, his ulti's down. Nothing to say, he tries to back away, get vision. They find him with the Ray Fire Blast, and well, they bait him into a bad fight. So LGD lose nothing to say again. And it's a buyback from Marana, but I mean, they can kind of, they're fun. They didn't use BKBs last night. This is all on the own performance. They're the ones that are throwing bodies in. Overextending and the disruptor is punishing it. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. The PSG from last game, what they made these mistakes is interesting. It's confusing, but yeah, why would we be capitalizing it very nicely? Wow. Um, yeah, tons of damage from all of the heroes in that one on the side of YBB. And another moment where, like, if this sort of pre 30 minute game or so going a little bit awkward for LGD. Radiance middle is two times in a row now. Of course, Radiance can't overstate uh, the, the case that much. It's only 2,000 gold, but Aegis now on TA. 
things starting then. to still look pretty good as this Beyond Doom is coming online. And, you know, we talked about the Lincoln Sphere needing them. They've got two now, one on TA, one on Pango. It's going to help a lot, especially when they start moving towards Objective Siege. You put the double Lincolns onto Loon, then you can't really die. I'm already using one Lincoln in the bot lane to stop the Athos, but he doesn't care, he just keeps clicking. He didn't wait for the Athos to hit, or, uh, no, he didn't end up. Never mind. But Seal has to pop his KB to try and get out of there. No, no damage to get away, but tips He's a going good out the lore. Very good tip. It's like, why are you here, dude? Why are you in a position where you need to be to be beyond? Oh, oh, no! Jumps in and kills why you smile. Radiance bottom tower. Oh, they're incredibly strong, but top jungle fight is two times the not the not the best decision that it can be. Good good play down to the there. That, that was super dangerous. Loot by himself, so does jump in for a second. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. Amazing what you'll find. I don't remember if it's Switch for one. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to mention it, but I do like the fact that Luke didn't go for the Blink Dagger. I feel like that's the one I feel TA, especially in these types of games where you can kind of throw the game yourself with just over committing, putting yourself in bad positions. Like, it also happened in the previous game when Lou was on TA. Like, yeah. And in this game, it's like just become tanky, buy the items to stand your ground, and then you know, maybe the Rubik with his shard down the line to be your repositioning tool if needed. So I can't help but feel a sense of familiarity here, though, with the way that the Hello. beginning of this game is on. They can find a good fight here. This Power is in the ages. The arrows there are forced staff trying to get it away. Static storm down still at the age of spreading little. They pull to the low ground. Getting brought lower and lower. Fraction is out. Not for the same job. Makes the kill. Now the the turn is easy. Being able to escape. They're gonna have glimpses after. Case little from sheer was already lost his life once and now the BK beat me out. Still chasing on enough to say they get the play away. 70 gifts dead for the sun. Stop Looks for me. more finds oh, another piece him down. Still oh, no. charge call this comes from Ebony. It's an eight gold lead now and eight with your two tower. tower. Yeah, why the B just cut the each like Radiant they had eight just seconds? Doom the primal beast, that's kind of what you need for the rest of this game and if you have an Aegis, you can tank some of these key spells and they're PSG. Kicking them to the game for an Aegis, struggling on the fact that they had to take a fight in that style. Radiance they Middle might Tower argue, be under once attack. they've respawned, group up, look for that fight, there's no Doom, there's no Aegis. There is a sizable window for PSG to make these combat fades that they made in the previous game. Now on YBB to jump and not Radiance Orbit middle tower them two games in a row. Fallen. A uh, window two where BKBs are down. It's about to close though. <laughs> Look at Planet and Bot just running yeah. around with a wave. Not any more leap charges. Trouble the arrow. Planet. What is that range on me? It's so good. It's like, <laughs> what the hell? I mean, he's got four points Arcane Supremacy plus an Aether Lens. Wait, Pretty easy. Oh, hold on. Mid. Catch him. 70 in some trouble. Rupture dead. They do anything to try and take this fight further. They need to get out of here. Nothing to say, they got him. Let's have KB in one. It's gonna be a second too late. So, if those BKBs still on cooldown, and LGD managed to find a nice little turnaround play in mid. Why is Mullen very happy here? <laughs> All that economy he got from the killing off the Doom. But yeah, it, it, this not giving you reminders. This is the Dyer previous game here, Lyrical. Like the idea that Wobie's in the Dyer. lead, they're vibing super hardcore, but then they do like a decision of the map where it's like, go chase for a kill. Meanwhile, things are happening mid. PSG, very good at distracting their opponents with like one random support doing something kind of dumb, and then kill the guys who are watching the guys chasing the other guy, you know? It's, uh, I just said a lot there, but... I think Wobie's also confused by everything that's happening, because PSG, the... 
not really playing Dodo at the moment, just kind of playing how many heroes can we find by themselves and hope to kill them whilst they're distracted by one of the I think the thing that's separate from this game is Zeal does not have his beat to beat. Oh, Glimpse pulls him back in. This is going to be a kill onto the Bloodseeker. A couple of hits. They got vision. Yeah, can they get there from while you smile for the save? They will. Nice and yeah. channel TP out. And it's amazing. Okay, okay. And now we want to turn. Killing Hero finds that disruptor 70. Yeah. Runs in. Thought about the roll. Doesn't decide to go for it yet. But the bash is going to be there. And connection. All in two. Ooh, the race gets He wanted to get the armor top off to get the second round. Now, come in, save his life. Bottom Take down the puzzle. He actually was able to get the blink out regardless. No, I, I agree. Uh, some weird stuff going on here that LGT is making him squirm. I think the big difference for me is that TA has like a partner that's a real hero in this game. Yeah. I feel like it's those two heroes in tandem are the ones that are kind of crushing this game. Tangle, of course, is a sacrificial. Uh, era is nature, but when the game's a little bit harder, it's kind of fucking chaos. But no, I think if they just play together, the game should be able to play itself. Even the purple beast is falling off a little bit with the abundance of things that they have, then it just cry out this race king. And, uh, it, it is possible, but the way that PSG is doing these uh, constant plays, what we beat the position. Still trying to hunt beyond. Again, close to catchy. I'm gonna say, just do a good job of beating him around the map. Meet your hammer. I want to sub up one pretty soon here, but regardless. Hammer or Webster? It's an age old question mm -hmm. that goes back to 7328. Okay. Invisibility. Age old. We will do. Dude, the six can't go late. It's feeling less and less impactful. I mean, if if they get to the items, particularly like why you smiles having a really good game on this dazzle. Has a solar crest done? Got drums. He's gonna be going in for Aghanim Scepter. Yeah. Armor is sir. Ooh, okay. So all item cooldowns by 50% becomes an active ability that can be cast on an ally to refresh all the item cooldowns. No, I like that. I like that. That one would be very interesting if he could get to that I mean, in time. So he's got his soul crack, that'll be 50%. Boots of bearing, of course, That's pumping that out. Then he gets to help out his team. I mean, I like it. Especially after he's already shown two really good active items for his team. And armor is the key theme, right? You've got Primal Beast who went for Shivas, but the Breaking now going for an AC. Now they can maybe brush that TA damage. And I feel like for both lineups now, it's who can survive long enough to get the damage done? If you tank off, if you tank through the Doom, if you tank through the Rolling Thunder, you, you should argue that PSG can easily win fights. And, uh, yeah, they've they've got to that point, but again, they need to smoke up the high ground vision, position correctly, protect the Dazzle. Now, if he does get doomed at the start of the fight, he needs to be engaged. I'd argue even Lincoln's himself could be handy. That's not on the on the cards right now. He has got it in his quick actually. That's an AC done. That is an AC done for the Wraith King. That is a really scary proposition. Like you said, being able to take through all that damage. Who's the main damage dealer right now for YBB? It's and she has had to go for these defensive options, which I think is the right play. Right, it's a Roshan. Oh. oh, and they find the Disruptor right at the start. Not to stick around and go for the all in. Oh, man. Oh, God. They could have just taken him, maybe. I feel like if Disruptor was defensively positioned, then she didn't have to try it, but surely someone would have scouted that. It was a very impressive club. I mean, this is very scary, though, because if they want to, the skeletons are going to take that rush. Wraith packed in the pit, too. Already down, though. So that's going to expire. Yeah. It will be like a P. 40 second win, no Wraith pack. Take away the vision, though, and now a smoke up coming from YBB. They are a lot of lines being drawn right now. They can just clash in the river, potentially. Don't forget, Boots of Bearing is up for Dazzle, so the speed at which PSG can to this fight and disengage is going to be key. Oh, spot him right away. 
jump forward silence. The way to take that one off. Yeah! Oh, man. Oh, God. Just four, four steps. The second round of the hit. Oh, that might break her. That one hurts. The smosh in arrow rarely seen. That one hurt. Gem down on the ground. No pango for 70. No buyback. LG just get a free rose. If that heal can go down, if they can manage to kill him, the arrow can force that dodge that one for the side. But there's the grave out the very early. That can't be used for zeal. This might buy them enough time. It's still scary, though. I mean, potion's down super low. They're going to kill the TA trap. No BKB on Ray King. Scary stuff. And they have to do one. There's the jump. It's fine. The stun is not going to be on to the primal, though. A little forced to get you. Luffy gets caught. He gets hit. Turn up to the PKB. Tries to do the damage. Line it up. The bar has from the roof. And it's throw very low. Trying to back away. Does he manage to get brought down? But the hit the heal. It's pretty much. But he jumped into beyond. People to pair together for the damage. Deal now. Trying to stay in this fight. Pango's back up in 15 seconds. Radius. Not enough time because there's no raking for 80. I'm so surprised that PSG looked for the fight here. After such a big pick like Pango with the vision of well, staff doesn't have BKB under attack. Trying to find something. They know that the racing dead for six. They needed another pick to prevent what I mean from going Roshan, but bottom tower. A slight misjudgment in play there from PSG. Roshan easily should have been there to Pango down low to Doom, but instead, look for the fight and they keep breaching. They keep hoping to find the hero. They don't connect. Yeah, Raking goes down. Ult was on on Cordell and rough. Now, with Aghanim's Doom up and online, you've got some really scary things that can happen. You get an Aghanim's Doom to the kinetic field, basically it's from royalty with Ags. We have answered the age of question. Uh, shall the handle of the mitre? There it is. That's the one. Oh, there's an error. And Wraith Pack down again to slow down this road here. How many charges of okay, three leap charges on planet? Two infantry slots available. Planet has one thing in mind, and it's still everything. Seconds until this great game is back up beyond. Trying to say no to this, but they kept him there. Has the PKB ready? Staff keeping him alive, but the silence is down. Does not connect onto any of the heroes. But sidestep, very close, very close. Step in either. Hoppin goes for the weak carpet, trying to go ahead and he's going to get it! Planted with a snatch in the match! What a sick play! Now, he might end up paying for his crime. Seal is going to be pushed back and forth, and they have been for the moment. That's Seal with the glimpse back. And with the Tazzle also going down, I mean, whatever. They got the ages on planet. Who cares? Did he get everything? He got the shard, too? Oh, man. I mean, Doom tried so hard to prevent Planet from making this play. He blew to the left-hand side of the Roshan pit. He just activated the Shivas, cut on through, hoped to prevent PSG from positioning correctly, but... Where did this stop? I mean, the Doom sent off now? The Centaur. Oh, wait, they finally got him. What to say? The Hurricane. The Hurricane. It's yes. dangerous. There's the detection. They don't have it. Oh, no. 70 that had the gem. Not to say they're looking, kind of. She was also in the area. Yeah, He's surprised. Oh, oh found me. You might want to go back, Chief. There we go. Wow. Let's take a look at the replay of this. I mean, it's so important. Just the, the fact that you already hear the dude went to the side, tried to force him away, but then he retreats back away and, yeah, plant it. Just for chill. Dumps it in. He just spawns right on him. He gets a freebie of two. How crazy is that? Yeah, I just, I feel like for YB, he didn't sit in the highest, beyond stuff on the left hand side. Yeah. And then he disengaged. And then, like, then he's going back in. I wish maybe they threw bodies in a little bit harder if they wanted to try and set the ages themselves, but no, fair play to the planet. That was so critical. YB was kind of winding themselves up to this point where if they had ages, 
I would be a little bit scared if you're a PS own Q spots them all. Now this is interesting. The late game invis runes can really change it up around. Fight into the planet Aegis. Let's <laughs> have the gem. Arrow. That's Not a nice ring to it. Planet Aegis. Yeah. Another Lincoln Sphere. Three Lincoln Spheres is on YBB. Can we get a full one? It's the only spirit. That's right. And they're scouting everything out, taking away that vision from the TA traps. Tier 2 tower up top could be where they go. 5,000 gold lead meeting. So as you can see, the buybacks are the bigger story. I this we only have about three heroes in the entire game. Left now on Wraith King. Picked up the swift ring, Link for a little. Trying to use planet as that first point of contact because of the Aegis. Everybody's doing the running man and the weird little artifacting. <laughs> then 4,000 gold lead. It keeps getting cut a little bit, a little. Uh -oh. Planet sold his mightage for that Lincoln's. Beyond. You scared beyond. Me. Yeah, 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 not planning. I'm clicking plan. Like, what happened? He gets no, one no, no, just no, no, suddenly no. the Midas buying. What the hell? All right, I'm just we're thinking good. We're good. All the time. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, he's, he makes a big phase. He hit the arrow, he hit the potential portion, and then they kind of threw a little bit. Then he hits the Aegis, so he's kind of recovered. So, yeah, planet making some insanely good plays to keep gear 2 this game. That looks for a bash. Is in the end of the field. I've been there. I've glimpse. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
very quick so where middle and I mean LGBTC they don't have middle two tower take enough floppy if they could go after the jump forward to the front by the bank be in trouble no safety if they try and burger kick it to pull back in there but hard will hold up it's available on LGBTC But it's worth it. We find him there with the Infernal Blade looking for the slowdown. They're still going to have a grave available for Shiro with the Panko rolling back and forth. Doesn't have. Oh but you guys, you have to get the Rave King. Yeah, they got him. They got him. There you go. Got him. They find more. See him in trouble. Starts to draw. Throws out that silence, but the connection's going to be there. So with Scooped and Austin at the high box, maybe they can force some out now from LGD. And Rave King actually doesn't have one. All right, we get to play Roshan and Lottery time. Might respawn in 45 seconds if it spawns in okay, sub 20, 30 seconds. Very quick re uh, respawn. I'll help them out, but realistically, won't be battling it down the mid lane. Mm -hmm. uh, Force Blood Seeker by the back. Red King's only missing it due to economy. So, in the back of their moments, they expect Red King to have my back. That's why they are hitting the tier through. Radiant structure going for it away, trying to force one out. It's not going to come. Question is for LGD, do you just decide to give this up? The scary idea did pop the blink already from low, trying to burn through these refraction sacks, taking down that repack, dodging the arrow, still hanging on to that six second BKB with the rest of the team right behind her, making it as hard as possible for a loud appeal. Safe. So, Radiance, middle tower. They find him there with the hex. Rush. Oh, it's almost an instant respawn. But actually, oh, wow. They go back for it, though. Oh, I, I feel like you got it. Radiant you get mid right, you naturally will reposition to be under attack. No way should be up with it in the window. window. Radiant oh, lost that's so huge racks. if they can go and scout. They don't have a T trap in there. All got taken by the gem. Surely they're checking it now. They have to. Oh, they have output control as well, so why back and to on the Roche fight? If they scout this out, it's easy Q. We're walking in. Yeah, it's there it is. Go. It they gotta go. They gotta go. PSG, they grouped up in their base. Double go, damage. Go. The rest of the team is here. They don't. Have their doom with them. This is incredible. Oh, oh my god, they've got to take it quick. And doom is not there. It's gonna go down. Beyond does have a team needs to get there in time. The scan coming out. It's taking some time to finish him. Oh, and then, yeah. oh the big thing big kick him up. They do it This one, it's going to be even worse. Wait, who got the yikes? <laughs> that one, that one really hurts. Uh, it looks like 70 e got it. Okay. That's, that's big at least, but he's dead for 100 seconds. This entire it's a matter of practice. There was a TA pit. As soon as they go mid, they know Roshan's up, they'll be hit. Like oh, no, he needs yeah, to get it all right now. He goes for the rapier. I mean, he has to. He's trying to get buff back. They've got to make something Dyer's happen. Middle have big fallen. plays happen. And, well, the rapier is there. And they could have stepped done on Tazzle, so they'll have two rounds of best year to use this on. Um, see, at this point, Dyer's everyone who gets jumped top first, top when they're the BKB's done, hang it on them again. Radiant you go. Uh, everybody except right now. One onslaught. Still so far with the rape. Right in these radians. What I have to say is it took pretty stiffen fallen. You got 54 armor on Shira. This rape here is just killed up. So the first on top of that, the evasion of the 15 talent from Morano in Moonlight Shadow. They are plenty tanks. It is not looking like it's gonna be enough. And too long before the pangos back up again. Look at this, the rape here does nothing. Tower, Tries to do what they can. A little bit of a dodge there for a second. Flicker, but buildings, they're the main objective. 
Hero starts to take some hits there to the side. Down low. That is a strong point. Jump back to lift. Because there to control the mute. It's on a primal beast to its the damage with that two cover tire. Beat, Oh, Beyond didn't want to stick around any longer. Still willing to fight for some a little ways away from that. Need up a little bit longer than that, though. Left is there trying to keep ZZQ alive. Turn to the side, and up for the save. Trump's lower, lower. That's going to be the Aegis. Do they find any more? Tango, oh, look for it, but Shiro is going to walk more into the duration of his BKB. Chase is there. Can they bring him down afterwards? Silence out. Keeping this chase on, they've got to get something. They, they, gotta, they have to win this fight. Oh, finds him for a second, but the kid is going to be there. Nothing to say. It rolls. It's Shiro. Living through it. He's somehow gone. The stuff is there. The bang, bang, bang comes out. And TA likely to drop it. And get eyes on here. Rapier on the deck. GG called. LGD breaking hearts again. Yes. Two games in a row. Like one game. Such a direction, such ways to play the map up. They just, they were able to capitalize it. In this game, at least, done it. The first age is still. The second time around, Shiro popping off with another initiation. I feel like it's, why you it's like the bigger team choices are letting them down. In this game,